And look at those lions. They're so large and ferocious and are a great favourite with visitors to Longleat. But not all beasts are this big. Some are very small and you'll be amazed at the mini beasts we have here at Longleat. And you'll also be surprised at what you can discover closer to home. So come and join us on this week's edition of Junior Rangers for our very own Mini Beast Safari. Up in the Safari Park, you can see Longleat's big beasts, but down in Pet's Corner, you can see the mini beasts and you'll be able to see some close up when you come to visit. But today we're going to be seeing them really close up. But we're going to have to get quite small for this. Hold on Annie, I'll shrink us down to mini beast size. Well that's clever Gio. Yeah I know, not bad eh? No, that's not what I mean. You've shrunk us down really small and we're a long way from where the mini beasts live. It's going to be quite a walk. Oops. Well, Ali, we seem to be in the right place now, so keep a good look out. Doesn't seem to be any mini beasts here. There's got to be some mini beasts around here somewhere. Look there, under the log. What are they? They're death's egg cockroaches, and they come from Central America. That sounds scary. It's OK. They just got the name because of the markings on their back and look like a skull. Why are they hiding? Well, it keeps them safe from predators, and when they're hungry, they'll come out looking for food. It looks like they have wings. Can they fly? No, they can't fly, but they can jump and glide. They tend to spend most of their time rummaging around on the ground in the leaf litter looking for rotting fruit, which is their favourite thing to eat. OK, let's see what else we can find. I think something's found us. Let's take a closer look. It's the giant African millipede. If we're quiet, they won't know we're here. So does it have a thousand legs? No, it'll have between one and two hundred legs. And there are four legs for each of its body segments. It lives for around five years, and in the wild, you'll find them living on the jungle floor. A bit like the cockroaches, they eat decaying plants. And you can see that it's using its antennae to sense the ground in front of it as it moves around. So what's the difference between a centipede and a millipede? Well, like I said, the millipede has four legs for each of its body segments, but the centipede has two. Also, the centipedes eat meat and has a poisonous bite, whereas the millipede doesn't bite and doesn't eat meat. Hey Annie, I think we should be getting back. I want to see if we can find some mini beasts in our garden at home. Shh, look over there. What is it? They're giant African land snails. It's OK of you, I'm going to stay here and watch them. All right, but give me a call if you need me. OK, I'll call you. I really like the giant African land snails and they make great pets. Now it looks like the snail has four eyes, but the lower two are actually feelers. And even while this one is munching away on the cucumber, it's keeping an eye on me. One of their favourite foods is cuttlefish, as they need the calcium to help build up their shells and they quite like a drink of beer. I wonder what mini beast Joe has found at home. Some of the easiest small animals to see in your garden at home are the birds. A bird feeder is a good way to view these visitors, but birds are messy eaters, and this little chap is taking advantage of the seeds dropped by the birds. And up in the greenhouse, we can find some real mini beasts. There's a family of baby spiders that are learning how to make webs. To find some really small mini beasts, I've bought in an old log from the garden. And I'm using this video microscope to get a close up view. You may have one of these at school. Let's see what we can find. 
Oh, look, it's Neowig. It's got big pincers on its tail, but they can't really hurt you. And an earwig is happiest when it's sleeping under an old damp log during the day and eating plants and other insects at night. What else can we find? Hey, here's a woodlouse. Did you know woodlice are related to crabs and lobsters and can breathe through holes in their back legs? And this little bug is so small, I can hardly see it with my eyes. I didn't know there could be so much wildlife on an old log. I wonder how Annie's getting on with the snails. Hey Annie. Joe, there's something strange happening here. Can you come and get me? All right, I'll be right over. What's the problem, Annie? That's the problem. A large hairy spider, and it's heading our way. Wow, it's the tarantula. The tarantula is my favourite mini beast. Did you know they have eight eyes and they've got blue blood? The females can live to be 30 years old, and if they lose one of their legs, it'll grow back again. Really? Yes, and as you can see, its body is covered in hair, and at the back it has some very special stinging hairs that it can flick at predators. And it's still heading this way? Annie, I think it's time we were going. That tarantula's getting a bit close. OK, let's go. Wow, that was fun. The mini bees here at Longleat are fantastic. But don't forget, you can still find interesting mini bees closer to home. Joe, we have a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs>